morning guys, welcome back to another episode of BWS. I'm actually uh, coming down with a little bit of flu, not feeling so great, but we are here at uh, Alberton 50 Rand Dam. Well, is it really Alberton? No, it's a bit further than Alberton, but Rustin Norby is today's fishing venue. It is packed. We have a long weekend. It's Easter weekend, so just want to wish you guys, everybody, a happy Easter, even though this video is going to come out like a week later, but yeah, it is what it is. I hope you guys had a good Easter. I've got four rods with me today. I'm contemplating of flipping rather, getting the flipping rig instead of the jig rod, just to see if I can't catch a fish that way. One slobber knocker rod and the free rig. I hope it's a good day. Uh, if I don't catch, I do know why, because it's packed, but if I do, then, yeah, we got overcast conditions, which is always nice, it's a bit cooler, we're going into autumn now, so, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy, stick with us and stay tuned. Knocker. This is the coleslaw color. Let's see. I've got absolutely no confidence in this bait or this color. Thanks. It's a big one. Okay, let's release him. That was a little fishy, that. Hey. Give us a little bit of a wave at the end. Okay, tough day so far. It's cold. Um, and obviously, as I said in my intro, I've got a little bit of cold, or I'm coming down with a cold, or I'm actually going out of the cold, but like, whatever, you guys really don't care. Uh, I also don't care, really, because I'm still fishing, that's all that really matters, but I caught that one, it was like in a little corner with some reeds, some, um, like a little bit of a rock pile, and that type of stuff, and um, I reckon she was about 1.4, I caught her on a, that black creature hog. I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested in in buying them. Tackle Cabin does have stock, which is a great thing. And um, if you guys do want to get them now, to, this is the time to be fishing them full time into winter. A very little action that bait. So it's a really good bait for this time of year. So go and grab yourself some. I've pretty much done uh, a whole loop of the dam or oh, what I can fish because there's a lot of guys doing uh, carp fishing and I can't just fish in between them like all the good spots where all the reeds are that's where I actually wanted to flip but I can't get there now because of the carp anglers This is legit. Now oh, this is cool. Yeah, this little pocket's are really little now. It's really nice. Is it producing fish? No, not yet. 
like I say, very nice little spot, but no bass. And if there were bass here, you would be crushing it right now. But no bass. It was a bass. It was a bass. Small guy though, I think. Let's see if he'll come back. Crazy, that guy came back for it. Little guy on that black creature hog again. There we go, another one. Little guy. <laughs> hey, look. This guy's got like a black marking on it. Little guy. So I found like a little uh, jetty thing, really cool little spot and uh, I think I caught like four in that little area, they were small but still really good fun. So yeah, hopefully you guys are still enjoying, I'm gonna throw around that free, free rig for a little, I think I might change to a weightless, I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chain, change to a weightless Senko and then I'm still gonna have that flipping rig with. I'm glad I picked the flipping rig today instead of the jig. I do have my jig rod here, but yeah, flipping rig really came into play today. Thank goodness, so glad for that. Yeah, see you guys back on the chesty now. Top of the nose. Looks it. There we go. Another one on the creature hog. Right in there though. In this little pocket again on this little jetty, which is really nice. I only call one more, like after this specific spot, still flipping. But uh, flipping's been pretty productive today. I can't really say it's a super solid pattern. But um, it's just easy to get into those reeds and uh, the fish just are liking that creature hog. It is now quarter past 11. So yeah, let's see if I can't catch one or two more. Hopefully I can. Well, there we go. <laughs> I was just telling that guy that it's tough. <laughs> like this is small, but... Good. 
he couldn't. Another good one. Another good one. It's right there, eh? Another good little fishy, this. <laughs> right there, eh? That's two decent ones in one day. It's not bad. On bass fishing, I tell you. Little guy. Okay, finished with fishing today. Uh, today was pretty interesting. Um, I started throwing that Berkeley slobber knocker uh, in the coleslaw color. Because the water is like extremely dirty, I thought that uh, that would do really, really well. Then um, after that, I decided to throw Senko, but I threw it on a free rig, and free rig didn't really do anything for me. So then I started uh, throwing around this creature bait. As you guys can see, that black uh, creature hog. That thing's awesome, does really, really well, and uh, that's where I caught most of my fish on. So I'll leave that link down below for you guys, just so that you guys uh, can actually purchase them from Tackle Cabin. Um, also another bait that I threw today was that jig. I didn't get any luck on that, you know, my trusty jig that I always throw every time I go fishing, but uh, yeah, nothing on that today. But yeah, I'll definitely leave that link down below on that creature hog. It's that time of the year to catch uh, bass on that now. Spring, uh, autumn is is coming. Cold weather is coming, and uh, those feet, or those legs on that creature hog do so well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video. Out here at Raston Orby, 50 Rand Dam. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys on another episode of BWS.